Hey guys, Boshit here. This episode of Know Your Shit is going to be a short one, as it's not an actual lesson, but an update to the previous one on removing distracting elements. I was originally going to put this update at the beginning of the next lesson, but I'm going to be out visiting family in Seattle over the week, and I won't be able to get any animating done. So I thought I'd make this its own video to keep people up to speed on some of the changes to Gmod that apply to the last lesson. A few days ago, one of the devs currently working on Gmod contacted me and told me that the previous lesson raised awareness on the bugs I covered, and as such, he fixed said bugs and made some additions to the drawing menu to make distracting elements more accessible to remove. Let's go ahead and take a look at them now. As we covered in the last video, the drawing menu is great for hiding fizz gun beams and anything else that might get in the way, but now, in this recent update, you can not only use it to remove the HUD and tool gun help now, but it's also used to remove the green ring I had a lot of trouble with in the last lesson. While having the ease of use for toggling the green ring is undeniably great, those of you who learned and are using key bindings will probably still find those more convenient for HUD removal. Still, I have to say, even after Gmod has been out for as long as it has, I'm glad bug fixes and helpful additions are still being implemented, so many thanks to the devs on that. I'm also pleased to mention that the static camera tool has been fixed as well, and will no longer get permanently stuck in a loaded save game. This camera mode is safer and quicker to set up than the alternative I offered in the last video, so this is going to help those who get unexpectedly called away from animating a lot. Finally, this last mention is actually to address a mistake I made before. In the last video, I suggested using two different key bindings to toggle the health and ammo meter on and off, but as it turns out, there is a toggle command you can use instead, which will allow you to simply use one key to toggle the HUD on and off. The command is as follows, and I will be using the P key for this example. Bind space P space toggle space CL underscore draw HUD space, zero, space, one. The same can also be applied to the draw VGUI command as well. This toggle command is more efficient an option than binding two different keys, and you're probably wondering why I didn't cover it in the last episode. Well, remember in the beginning when I said even the most experienced of Gmod users can still learn something new? Yeah, that applies to me too, that's for sure. All right, that should cover the changes that apply to our last lesson. Once I'm back from Seattle, I'll be getting back to work, and I have quite a video schedule ahead of me. In our next lesson, we'll be covering some useful tricks for your machinima, and then after that, I'm thinking it's high time we learned how to use a certain add-on that will assist in those of you looking to get into some stop-motion animations in Gmod. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.